Kai is so cool. She's everywhere right now because of Mama Doll and man, she's so cool. Hey guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with another reaction video on this channel. Today we have Deep Dive episode 39, a series where reaction artist you guys voted for from start to debut to finish, which is their most recent song at the time. Uh, most often there's actually groups on here that are disbanded or just don't really do many songs anymore, so there's a definitive end. And we have After School now with their first ever comic called The Diva, so we're very new still to After School, I'm still trying to learn members and everything like that. Today is also the first time we have another member with Yui, I looked up the pronunciation there, so we're now at six members, uh, the original five plus Yui, who just joined, and um, yeah, this came out in April 2009, so we're still pre 2010s. Um, so that's crazy. Let's get it. Diva. Oh. And of course, once without pausing, once with pausing. The debut was a banger. Ah, uh, ah, uh, was a banger. Okay. Everybody scream, okay. Wow, oh, that's uh, some outfits, man. So colorful. The glasses were wild. The chains. So the D D D Diva ad lib is kind of the catchphrase, I think. It was random. Kai with the ramp. Kai is so cool. She's everywhere right now because of Mama Doll and man, she's so cool. Tonight and the night after tomorrow. What are you saying? Ooh, I love this melody here in the rap verse. Hey, Jonga, though. Wow, she kind of killed that rap actually. I'm surprised. We didn't see a rap yet, I think. <laughs> oh, the tune is. I don't know why it's so much about tennis, that's kind of fun actually, I am a big tennis fan. Just feels a bit random. Why are they dancing on the tennis court like that? <laughs> that dance though. Okay. Again Jong Ah. Oh the build up in this metal though. Is it actually Jonga with the high note too? The rap and now the high note? Really? <laughs> this is so wholesome though. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I will tell you why in a second. This reminds me a lot of the uh, the Girls Day, you know, part of the Deep Dive series, where especially the early um, hours of Girls Day, so around the you know 2010, 11, 12 hours of Girls Day, reminds me so much of this here, um, or the other way around. This reminds me of the Girls Day hours. Because it's just so much fun. Like, they have so much fun in the music video, right? They, they smile all the time. They're literally, you know, doing whatever. It, it, at some point, it feels maybe a bit staged. You know, they're like, they're just doing all kinds of random shit for the sake of being random. Maybe. But it's still, they do it so well. It just emits fun to me, right? So, like, I feel like what I want to say is, back then, 
as well as nowadays, there have been two different types of ways of making a music video fun. There is the forced acting way and like literally overdoing it a bit, you know, just to for the sake of being fun. And there's also the so like being a little bit fake, I guess. And then there's also the very genuine fun and where they actually just completely troll. I'm thinking of uh, B-side music videos like the Dreamcatcher music videos or the G Idol music videos. I'm calling them G Idol on purpose here because many people don't even know when I say Idol that I mean G Idol, but or you can also call them J Idol, I guess. Anyway, um. Yeah, those types of real troll and fun music videos. So just those two types, right? And I feel like those two exist back then, but also nowadays. So you can't really say that it changed much. Uh, both existed and both still exist. I just think this um, fake fun can also be done in different levels. It can be done very well and genuinely, you know, portrayed at least, like in this music video. It can also be just too much. I don't really have an example in mind, but definitely have seen those. So I just love how genuinely it seems like they have fun here together. So that was one big thing I wanted to say. And also I feel like the lyrics of the chorus are Unalbam Nailbam Diva, right? I'm not sure I have to re-listen to that, but we will do that now. But I feel like that was kind of what they were singing, which, you know, would mean tonight, tomorrow night, Diva. Not sure what they're hinting at. I mean, I can think about something, but I love my boy. The instrumental is going wild. Oh, check on him, sing that one. Oh, I don't know what they're saying actually. Never mind. I can't translate the second line in my head. But one thing I want to say though, so there was a so young line I guess. Here. But it just feels honestly that Kai and Jong I have so many lines, it's wild. I didn't even see Yui get any line. Same goes for Yuyon actually. I guess that could have been Julian there. Now to Kahi. She's so cool here. So sassy. And mature. I mean, she is 28, but. Yeah. This is so fun because. It really, really, really reminds me of the early Good Day stages, and I love those songs so much. If you watch those versions uh, of mine, you know how much I enjoyed those. It's just a sound that I really like. It's like the really fun ad libs, the slight auto tune, the slight, like, feeling a bit outdated type of vibe about the song. I actually like those types of songs because it gives me, like, a throwback to, like, 10 years ago or something, which is something, honestly, I kind of like doing. Um, when listening to music, I like thinking about past experiences, so that's something that these types of songs really do for me. Okay, I guess there was Julian there. Here, yeah, she had the chorus line. But where's about Yui and Becca? There's Yui. Hit one ad lib. To yawn again. It's a bit tough to tell, to be honest. Oh, this is this is Becca. Okay, okay. So it's sometimes tough to tell who actually sings because they don't show it. Those glasses are so cool. So this whole rap part is Becca. Okay. Didn't even notice that. Nice. So, was it the part where father was Jonga earlier? I think actually that could be. So, I was just seeing that wrong because on the screenshot I have Jonga has like yellow glasses in, in one shot, but um, I didn't see the red glasses. So, I was just not really paying too much attention there. So, I believe the second was just Becca. Which makes sense. <laughs> she was rapping last time. 
something here. This part is really cool, the choreo. I, I want to see this live. That, sound, that looks really fun. They, they're kind of basic, but fun. Oh, a lot of hip movement there, too. Oh, the upcoming bridge, though. I really like the bridge, too, by jong -A. Mainly jong -A, I think. Her voice, yeah. I think it's only her, right? Yeah! Pop up! <laughs> Who's that in center here? Throwing the tennis balls to the camera. Diva! <laughs> But this is what I mean, right? Like the head bopping be like... It's a bit fake, but it's still cool. I don't know, I, I enjoy that. Like, obviously it's a kind of acting, right? It's not them actually having fun like this. I mean, I'm not denying they're not having fun. Wait, I'm, I'm not denying they're having fun. That's what I want to say. But, like this part, of course, like... Of course it's fake, man. Come on. <laughs> but it's cute. So I enjoy it. <laughs> I mean, fake is acting, not fake, but I mean, you get it, right? You get what I'm saying. We just noticed they had a shot there where we see them from the back. Some some booty wiggling. <laughs> okay. That's a thing. Only in one shot. Is that almost a dance move? Na 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 let me find out what they were singing in that chorus. So first and foremost, in Korean. So they say, Onobam, Nailbam, Tarichatan, Ishugan, Nanan. I think. Yeah, it's probably not very pronounced well, but it would take me a bit more longer to pronounce this really good. So I'm not going to do that now. So this means this electric moment, basically. That's what they're singing. So tonight, tomorrow night, this electric moment. I'm your diva, 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 diva. So yeah, it is definitely hinting at something I was thinking of. <laughs> uh, not surprised too much here, but honestly, I really enjoy that song because it's so fun in the music video department. I, I don't think it's a very memorable song because it's really repetitive, but it doesn't get annoying at all. Don't get me wrong, it's not at all getting on my nerves because I'm like thinking, no, it's too repetitive. No, it's not. But it do be pretty repetitive, right? Like the whole song. Uh, even in, in melody and everything, like there's not much of a switch up. There's like pretty much a, a cycle. They keep on playing, playing, playing. But it just makes me have fun. So I enjoy it. That's pretty much it, to be honest. Like, I can't really say much more to that other than I probably like R a little bit more, though. A little bit more. Just because it was more impressive and like, bam, you know? But, and it also kind of more surprising to me how their sound actually was like. I expected them to sound much more cute than everything. And this is this song, Diva, is maybe more into the direction I expected them to be. But I was kind of sassy and badass. I didn't expect that, really. Especially the rap part was crazy. So I think I like it a little bit more, but Diva was definitely fun. Uh, I said this not 10 times, but yeah, yeah, I keep repeating myself. Anyway, that is my reaction to... After School's Diva for Deep Dev. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see my other After School versions, that includes the Mama Adoration and uh, more. But also, I will also link the playlist to um, my Deep Dev series, which I reacted to Girls Day, Tian from Big Bang. By the way, Big Bang is going to have a comeback now. Holy shit. As well as After School. So, those playlists will be in a pinned comment if you want to check them out. And if you like my reaction, leave a like to help me out. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Peace.
Thank you.